Greetings all, and welcome to yet another, actually, glorious Bagel Sunday. With the exception of one thing. Look at how much frickin' pollen there is. Like, it's just nasty. And last night, I didn't take my Sudafed because, well, I didn't want to. And then I didn't want to get up after I went back to bed, after my shower, and do everything. So I didn't take the Sudafed or the Flonase, and I was kind of plugged up last night. But I remedied that this morning with Sudafed and Flonase. Let's go in and get bagels and then snarf, because I'm pretty hungry, because I burnt a lot of energy being a negative douche. Bagels gotten. Time to go snarf. Okay, here we go. This will be the third time I've shot this video, and I just didn't like the way the first two came out, other than the bagel stuff. So this is all sandwiched in between the bagel stuff long after. I just spent a good hour walking around Pleasure House Point. Didn't really see any birds, but I saw this snake. I haven't seen a snake here. This is the second time in the eight, like the eight years that I've ever walked through here. And I was so busy looking up that I almost stepped on it. And I thought it was a stick, you know, because it's this big, long black line. So yeah, kind of startled me and it didn't give a shit about me. So I was able to take a bunch of pictures and I even got some video on my phone. So that was fun. And, and now I'm looking up and down and all around as I walk through here. It's still a little bit uh, too chilly for them, but but obviously not chilly enough that they, they aren't coming out. So yay, okay. Now, why have I shot this video so many times? Well, I'm, I'm having a hard time articulating what I wanted to say. So let's go third time's a charm. So last night kind of came to a head, a head of very negative headspace. And I've been miserable and I've been, you know, the past few videos that I've posted, I've talked about this with my surgery, the stitches are, were still in and they were just so aggravating. And I fell down the stairs and I, you know, we'll just say I broke my toe. Then my back seized up and went out this past week. And even though I went to the chiropractor twice and kind of got that taken care of, she couldn't get my neck to release. So I've been still miserable with that. And yesterday it was just awful. Like take your breath away awful on my trap. It was tightening up and I couldn't move my neck or my head because my neck was so tight. And it just got worse as the day went by. And I was laying there last night watching Sven Gulli trying to just loosen my sphincter and I couldn't do it. And ultimately I hit rock bottom mentally in my mind and, and I was filled with despair. Uh, I'm very stressed. There, it's all of that plus day job, plus American Express recharging me for the fraudulent charges that they took off. So now I still show that I owe almost two grand and I'm past due. So it's gonna start fucking with my credit, which pisses me off. So now I've got a ton of stuff I've got to do. Um, and my boss is gonna help me and we're gonna call these freaking idiots and get them to remove those charges. Like everything, like I said, just sort of boil, got to a boiling point, reached ahead, and uh, and then I was just miserable. And I am um, freaking out about finances. I'm freaking out about work. I'm freaking out about my health. And last night I was at a point where I just wanted to sell everything. I wanted to sell all my camera gear, just anything I can sell, get rid of it, take the money, pay my debts, sit there on my shitty patio and listen to my Chinese neighbors scream talk to each other for entertainment. I was just like, it was just horrible. So she went up to bed first and I was down there for a little while and I was just miserable sitting on the couch and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go freaking take a shower and I'm gonna scald myself to try to get this knot out. Whilst I was in the shower, I noticed that, that one side of stitches was gone and then I helped the other side along. And no more stitches, they're out, Oh, And let me tell you, that right there completely changed my mindset. As Tony Robbins would say, I gave myself a pattern interrupt. And I got myself out of the negative headspace. And when I got out of the shower, you know, I had worked the knot, it's still there, but uh, like last night, it was good enough. And I ended up getting almost eight hours of sleep, but over half of it was deep. And the night before, 
I was in the red on deep. So I was miserable all around and I needed the stitches to go away and I needed to break that pattern of despair and oh, what was me? And I needed to get in a different direction. And that's what happened. And it really all came from the stitches coming out. So I had a great night's sleep. I got up today. I felt a hell of a lot better. This walk, I actually felt strong. I felt really good. And I haven't felt that way in a long time because my body's just been fighting to, to keep up with all the damage I've been doing to it. And so I felt really good in this walk. Uh, it was neat seeing the snake. It's nice out. It stopped raining. I made the whole walk without getting rain on and everything was peachy. One of the things that, that you know, I experience is pretty much what every other American in this country experiences. And that's financial stress and work stress. And then that spills over into home life. Now, my home life is fantastic. I'm not stressed about that at all. But I tried to keep the other two from affecting that because it's the one thing that's not messed up. So I've been trying to deal with that and I've been trying to think in a different direction on what to do. That's why I sold some of my gear. One, I don't need it. But two, I want the money and I'm probably gonna sell more gear. If I had shot this video last night at nine o'clock, I probably would have been, it would have been, it would have been a very different video and I would have been absolutely miserable and I would have, uh, I was on the verge of just getting rid of everything and I would have gone to KEH and MPB and I would just would have sold everything and that would have been a rash, stupid decision, which I'm not gonna follow through on because I'm in a better headspace today. All of this being said, I need to get myself in the proper direction and not be so stressed out and negative because, and I've told you this before, when I talk to my one buddy who is like the harbinger of doom, everything he talks about is just negative. Everything sucks. He has the worst life in the world of anybody on the planet. And that affects me because I'll get off the phone with him. And when I'm, before I get on the phone with him, I'm in a great mood. By the time I get off the phone, I'm in a shitty mood and I'm really angry and aggressive and violent and all that kind of stuff. You can transfer your negative to the people around you. So think about that. Instead of just constantly pissing and moaning about everything, you got to do that pattern interrupt and you got to get yourself in a different mindset. So why do I need to do that? Well, one, because I hate being in a negative mindset. In the past month, that's all I've done is bitch and moan because I've been miserable because of all the physical damage to my body. But more importantly, I'm going home to help my father and I can't bring that shit home with me because I am not going to transfer negative energy to him. He's getting nothing but positive from me. I needed to get that shit out of my system. Shower last night was like washing away all the negative and it got me back into a good place. So I need to build on that this week so that when I go there next weekend, all is well. This week, no bitching, no moaning. I'm gonna try not to stress myself, but I need to take care of a lot of shit before I go so that it isn't weighing on me while I'm there. And that's what I tried to say in the two videos prior to this, but just didn't articulate it very well. I'm happy with this one. Now I'm gonna go to three ships and get bean, and then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna start my uh, Sunday office day routine early. Right now it's only, it's 1.59. And see, it's starting to rain now, so Mother Nature allowed me to get this out of my system without raining on me, and now I'm in the truck and I don't care. That's the monkey in a nutshell. All is well. All is very well, because those stitches are gone, my toe doesn't hurt, my lower back isn't seized up, and I'm feeling pretty strong now. I just have to get this damn knot out of my neck and I'll work on that this week. So let's go get some bean and then we can go home and wash clothes and do day job stuff and watch like Godzilla movies. Okay, bean has been gotten. Let's go do day job shit and laundry. I don't really have too much else to say. And do you really want to watch me do laundry? Uh, I'm torturing you by making you watch me sort it because I still needed to film an outro. So that's pretty much it for today. That's all you're going to get. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.